right, after a four hour flight from Calgary, I've arrived here at Aeropuerto Internacional de Los Cabos in San Jose del Cabo, Mexico. Now, if you know me well enough, you know that there's no chance that I would be visiting somewhere as touristy as Cabo, and you would be correct. Instead, I will be traveling roughly two hours north of here to the city of La Paz, the capital city of Baja California Sur. So when I was offered the chance to come here and capture it all on film for you all, I had to say yes. I've never been there before. I've heard great things about La Paz. It's an up and coming destination. So get ready for some amazing content here over the next six days. They've planned quite the itinerary for me, basically loaded with activities that you can do in the La Paz area so I cannot wait and special thanks to my partner Tourism La Paz for bringing me down here to Mexico to share this with you all and to MMGY NJF in New York City for facilitating this on my behalf so I really really do appreciate the gesture in any case my rep from the tourism board is here I'm gonna go meet them and I'm gonna be on my way to La Paz <laughs> All right, about 90 minutes after leaving the Las Cabos airport, I've arrived here at the Loncheria La Garita for some regional food from the area here in Baja California Sur. This place is really popular because it has like kind of a farm vibe. So got all the animals back here. So I guess they're very big on jerky in this part of Mexico. So they call it macha machaca? Machaca, yeah. machaca and it's drying right there in the sun. So wow, I'm gonna have to taste that. What kind of meat is that made out of? It's beef. It's beef. Okay, I gotta try some. Let's go get some Mexican food. Nice vibe in here. It's outdoors kind of, but indoors. All right, so I'm inside the kitchen. Oh my goodness, I got some bubbling oil here. They are Whoa. Doing, uh, very popular here, which yeah, yeah. is called empanadas. Uh, empanadas, it's with yeah, yeah. Flour and sure, then yeah. It's fried. It's like it's a fried. donut. Yeah. Yeah, very yeah, similar yeah. to a donut. Wow. I have meat inside. Yeah, yeah. Very cool. And they are making flour tortillas. And they're making here. homemade flour yeah. tortillas. Wow, very cool. Wow. So very authentic here. Very cool. The local method of brewing coffee here. It's like a it's like a bag on a stick. What is that called? The method? Cafe Talega. Tale Talega? Talega. Uh -huh. Talega. Yeah. Talega. Cafe yeah. Talega. Yeah. And it's just regular coffee. Yeah, it's regular yeah. coffee. And yeah. they just use this thing, eh? Very cool. And this is uh, mostly from this area they do this? this? Is, yeah, this is yeah. very traditional in the, in the whole destination. Really? Yeah. Wow, Cafe okay. Talea. Yeah. Cafe Talea, okay. Yeah. Let's try it out. Oh, wow. Smooth. Interesting way to brew. And I'm trying out the uh, hibiscus water, basically. Hibiscus juice. Looks really good. Oh, wow. That's really good. Brings me right back to West Africa in Gambia. I had such amazing hibiscus juice, Senegal and all that, but wow, really good. I wish hibiscus was more common in the uh, US and Canada, but uh, yeah, it's really refreshing. So my local food combo has arrived and you can see here there is a tamale, a fried empanada, and this one is the taco or is it? Or a machaca burrito, a machaca burrito. So machaca is that uh, jerky type dried meat. So looks really good and served with beans and local cheese. So give us a try. So you can see all that dried meat inside chopped finely with onion and chili. Give it a shot. Really good. Wow. Muy bien, hola. Eh, yo soy Lluvia Márquez, eh, propietaria de Lonchería La Garita, un lugar muy tradicional aquí en nuestro estado que lo que en lo que se enfoca la garita, lo que les quiere dar a ustedes eh, los comensales es mantener la gastronomía californiana, todas las recetas de los abuelos, de los tatarabuelos. Este es muy rica la comida y qué bueno que están hoy aquí en la garita, que ya tiene 35 años atendiendo a mucha mucha gente de todo el mundo y a nuestra gente local. Este, muchas gracias por venir y qué bueno que vienen a probar nuestra comida. No se van a arrepentir. Gracias. Los esperamos. All right. So this is Chilo Chill, and these are the little dome tents 
Mine is extremely spacious, so very comfortable place. As you can see, the sun is starting to set. There's actually really good views of the full moon there in the distance. And as you can see, nice big king bed, couple nightstands. There's a much needed fan. It's actually quite humid here right now. So it'll be nice to cool down and a little table here to uh, store some belongings and so forth. I'm gonna go for a dip in the ocean though, because it is extremely hot outside and I'm just drenched. And I'm only here for one night, so I gotta soak this all up while I can. I'm off to La Paz tomorrow night to base myself there for three days. This is the La Ventana Bay and a gorgeous place. As you can see, they got a little bar and restaurant here. Plenty of seating choices along the waterfront, so definitely gorgeous. Highly recommend it if you're looking for an outdoor experience. So it is just beyond beautiful here, as you can see. Simply gorgeous water, wow. Excellent start to my La Paz adventure here. If you're looking for something completely off the beaten path and waiting to be discovered, come here before the rest of the world does. It's still quiet enough that you can have the place to yourself. Anyway, I'm gonna go get a cold drink and enjoy this amazing view of the bay. All right, I'm trying out the peyote from Baja Brewing Company, Peyote IPA. Excellent beer. Wow. Well, cheers. And I got the tropical burger with shrimp. Looks really good. Served with potato wedges and an ice cold Coke Zero. It is so hot here, so looking forward to that for sure. All right, I had a pretty good dinner there. And uh, this place is gorgeous at night. You can see it's all lit up with Christmas tree lights, basically. Definitely a lovely vibe here. But I am wiped, maybe from the heat, but uh, gonna have an early night. The water is so warm. It's like a warm bath. I've actually never had water this warm outside of the South Pacific. Beautiful, beautiful morning here. After checking out of Chilochil, I headed 30 kilometers south of La Ventana to Bahia de los Sueños, or the Bay of the Dreams, where I met up with the amazing crew at Baja Molinito Experience to begin a half-day sport fishing adventure on the waters of the Sea of Cortez. Huge, wow. <laughs> Very cool. So cool that you're close to nature here. You're just on your doorstep, eh? It's like a zoo. <laughs> <laughs> they are massive, aren't they? Wow. And they love their food, hey? Breakfast time. All right, I'm just on board the Baja Molinito Experience. Beautiful day here on the water and we're gonna try to catch some fish. All right, we're assessing the situation. We've thrown some sardines out and uh, waiting to attract some fish. So you can see quite a few fishing boats out here with us as well. A lot of activity on the water today. We got another fishing boat coming alongside here. He ran out of sardines. He's gonna score him some. You caught something? You wanna try it? Maybe I will, yeah. And he is reeling in another right now. We just got another one reeled in. These are a ton of work to reel in, but you can see beautiful fish. Wow, what kind of fish is that? It's a skipjack tuna. Skipjack tuna, wow, very cool. So if you've never been out fishing on waters like this, uh, you do have to kind of move your boat around, of course, so the fish get away and the line ends up going underneath the boat or too far towards the uh, canopy here that we gotta move around quite a bit in order to uh, have enough room to reel us in. There's so many fish in the waters here, it's incredible. All right, we are fighting this uh, fish and constantly moving around here, so it's giving quite the fight. Oh my goodness, crazy how big that fish is. That is insane. How are we gonna have room on that board, eh? <laughs> that is a massive fish. What kind of fish do you think that is? It's a uh, mahi-mahi. It's a mahi-mahi, wow, that is a massive fish. I hope you can get it in. 
switch to jump. All right, morning burrito. Oh, that's really good. All right, we're casting our lines once again. And uh, I'm enjoying a cold Pacifico. Wow, that fish is angry. <laughs> we definitely have caught another, it looks like a tuna, eh? Oh my goodness, he's flying through the air. Wow. <laughs> they are definitely feisty little fish out here. Oh my goodness, wow. Very cool, hey. <laughs> it's gone. It's gone, yeah, you got loose, wow. All right, we are chopping up this skipjack tuna to use as bait. So they just pulled in this guy, trumpet fish. I've never even heard of this one really. I've seen one. It's wild, eh? Such a thin fish. Bye bye. Yes. <laughs> All right, go back home. All right, throwing some sardines in. All right, so we pulled it up, but there is just the head of a sardine left, so. No luck. Beautiful beaches. He was saying that this beach here is one of the best in the area. It's the Playa Punta Arenas. So you can see beautiful turquoise waters here. And this is the beginning of La Ventana Bay. So 12 feet deep water, wow. So we're pretty shallow right now, but uh, gorgeous, gorgeous views here. All right, we are back on dry land. We didn't end up catching anything else on our last bit, but uh, they were definitely feisty little things. But as you can see, beautiful day here in Baja California Sur. Absolutely gorgeous beach. All right, they're gonna fillet the fish. Nice fillets coming off of that. You can see that mahi mahi. Is it mahi mahi, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So, definitely an amazing time out on the water today with Baja Molinito Experience. Highly recommend the company. A really professional staff, really knowledgeable, and a really great time of doing some sport fishing right off the coast of La Ventana, Baja California Sur, just about 40 minutes south of La Paz. I will uh, link them in the description if you're interested in checking out their products. And honestly, highly recommended. That was really, really amazing morning. All right, so I'm here with the captain, Rigo, of the yep. Plan B, Plan, Plan B, B yep. Plan B ship. Yep. And this guy is your man. If you're coming out to the La Paz area, to La Ventana, yep. come out and check out Baja Molinito Experience. Yep. And Captain Rigo will take you out on the water for an amazing time. So yep. really good to meet you. Thank you so much. Hey, mucho Thank gusto. You, yeah. Thank you, man. Thank you. We are off now to the Baja Molinito restaurant and they're actually going to be cooking this amazing mahi-mahi that I reeled in today. Amazing fillets came out of that fish, more than I can eat, so I hope they're feeding it to somebody else as well. So I'm going to be looking forward to that meal in about an hour. All right, we've just arrived here at the Mariscos El Molinito restaurant here on the Malecon in La Paz. Beautiful space, as you can see. And we are going to cook up that delicious mahi-mahi. All right, the main course has arrived here. And you can see the mahi-mahi has been prepared in numerous different ways here. So you have some pan-fried, it looks like, and some deep-fried. You cannot ask for fresher fish than this. That is incredibly good. Wow. Mmm. Amazing. Really good food here, so highly recommend it. Again, Mariscos El Molinito in La Paz. Highly recommended. They know what they're doing with their fish.